Hessen, so great to be with you. For anybody who doesn't know what happened to you, could you explain? Yeah, so I was a labor and delivery nurse at NYU Medical Center in Manhattan. And back in May, I received an award for my work specifically with bereaved mothers who lost their children during pregnancy and childbirth. And when I gave my award acceptance speech in May, I drew parallels between what I do here, how my upbringing directly affects my care and how I'm able to give that care compassionately and humanely. Basically, I mentioned how I was grieving for my own people, for the women in my country who were losing their own babies during the genocide in Gaza. And, and how was the reaction during the war? Oh, it was booming applause. It, I have the, the video on my Instagram page and you could hear just the, the cheers in the audience. So the next time that I went onto my shift, I was dragged into the ivory towers. That's where the administration building uh -huh. is. And basically was told by the president and the vice president of nursing that I offended people and put them at risk by mentioning the word genocide and mentioning the women in my country who were going through that genocide and losing their children. I was subsequently fired later that day. So ever since then, I have been very vocal about that experience. What many people don't know or I haven't shared very widely is that NYU was harassing me and targeting me and bullying me for seven months prior to that incident. I'm very vocal online on my social media about what's going on in Palestine from before October 7th. And essentially I started getting I started getting reported to HR for my posts, for my pro-Palestinian posts, most of which were headlines from news articles. Um, I was interrogated repeatedly by HR. I was asked to, to explain my politics and to explain my social media posts and to defend my character multiple times over. I was asked to give back my bonus from the end of the year because they said that my performance evaluation was inaccurate from October of that year. So all this leading so up this to the award. award <laughs> ceremony was the final straw for them. Did so. you sue them or do anything? To We're working on it. We have to wait for the EEOC investigation, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission to conduct their own investigation and then we'll proceed with the case. Have you gotten a new job? I have and it's in a much more welcoming environment. My current job is unionized and the nurses there aren't afraid to, to show their support and solidarity um, and it's just it feels great to work somewhere where I actually feel the support at work. I don't feel intimidated, I don't feel scared. So, so advice to others, what would you say to people in the medical field? I would say don't be afraid to speak up. Um, it's actually part of the oath that we take as healthcare professionals to speak up for all marginalized people, all people who are harmed. Don't be afraid of what the consequences will be because you will find your allies. You will find your allies in the streets, you will find the allies online, and there is always an open door where the window closes.